Welcome back to another episode of the Manly Cam Project podcast. I'm your host, Lockie Stewart, and today we have another short, sharp Thursday episode. And I've just been down sitting by the river, uh, got back from a five day Bucks party, which was huge. So I'm trying to get myself back in good spirits, but no, I'm definitely in good spirits. But that's probably what leads to today's topic becoming deserving of success. Now, I was doing a little bit of reading before, and I've been checking back in with uh, members of the Strong Men of Value program and seeing where everyone's at. But I also know from my own mood as a result of uh, alcohol and also stepping away from work that my drive, my belief in myself has not deteriorated, but it's it's less than what it was. And uh, I know there's a lot of us out there, a lot of you guys who are listening right now, you know, may have moments in your life where you go, hell yeah, I am definitely deserving of success. And I'm going to be hugely successful. You might set goals, invest in yourself, do all these various things, and then life gets back in the way and you start falling off track. And what, you know, the weekend for me was, is a perfect example of that. So what I really want to help you guys uh, do throughout this this episode is understand how you can become deserving of success, but also give you some tips, tools, and strategies that you can implement and really focus on in order to get in the same frame of mind, mind sorry, that I'm in majority of the time. And before I do, I'm going to tell you guys about the Strong Man of Value program. Obviously, it's a uh, rebranded from the inner circle it's for men all around the world and it's for those of you who want to create more momentum in your life you want to gain an actionable plan get an incredible environment and community around you and just be held accountable week in week out to start crushing the goals that you want to uh, crush and the actions and start taking the actions that you want to take in order to create the life that you want to live the life that you know you're deserving of living so Obviously, becoming deserving of success is going to tie right into that. And if you do want to find out more about that, you can get a seven-day free trial. All you need to do is head over to the manthatcanproject.com and check out the Strong Men of Value. If you're not quite ready yet, that's completely cool. Just keep listening on to the episodes and I'm sure you'll get a heap of value from the podcast. Now, look, we all have an idea of things that we want to achieve in our life. We all have an idea of money that we would like to have, relationships, maybe career, flexible lifestyles, holidays that we want to take. I think about all these things all of the time. And I remember back in 2014 when I first was really open to the idea that I was going to be more than the person that I was being right at that point in time. You know, I had a crack, for those who haven't listened to the story, I had a crack at a rugby over in France. That didn't work out well for me. I was doing a carpentry trade when I got back and I really didn't enjoy it, right? I I just didn't find the work fulfilling at all. Not saying it's a great career, but for me, it just wasn't fulfilling. I resented every minute that I was there. The environment was toxic. My diet was terrible. All these sorts of things happened. So when I um, had an opportunity to really try something different, And I went for it. There was a whole heap of people that were tearing me down, right? They didn't believe in me. They didn't like what I was doing. And so I I dealt with a lot of haters, as I'd call them, or doubters. And I experienced judgment, um, all of these thoughts that went through my mind. So I think for a lot of you guys, when you start trying something different, right, even if it's it's a fitness program, there's always going to be people who go, oh, yeah, another one. If you've been one of those people who have... You know, tried multiple things, but never really stuck to it, right? For those of you who have been in that boat, you probably carry a lot more baggage. And when I say baggage, I mean self-doubt and people's opinions than maybe people who are just trying something new for the first time. And regardless of where you're at, the strategies that I'm going to tell you and the things that I'm going to share with you, I have experienced and overcome personally myself. And I know that it works because you know, we are at the effect of the life that we create. And if you really want to create something great for yourself and be someone great for yourself, then you're the only one who can do that. You need to understand this first and foremost. You're going to have doubters. You're going to have people who try to pull you down when you change. That's normal. So if you're experiencing that, that is normal. Cool. Tick that box. Awesome. You're doing well. And what happens when we start getting the doubters, when we start getting people criticizing, when you start getting you know, Facebook messages or 
pages made about you or just whatever it is. What followed next for me was the, the negative thoughts and the limiting beliefs like, oh, can I really achieve this? What if I don't achieve this? Everyone's going to be right. Do I want to give them the opportunity to be right? And I started thinking along the way, you know, well, fuck them. If they are right, they're right. But I'm going to be grateful I had a crack because if I don't take action, then they're right anyway. Right? They have won. And for me, I was not happy. So if you're not happy with where you're at, or even if your life's mediocre and it's like, it's, it's cool, it's manageable, but you want more, you know, you can have more. And this doesn't just mean financially in your career. This could mean with your health, with your relationship, with your sex life, with your lifestyle, you can have more. But when you do things differently to how you've previously been doing them, you're also changing the way other people see you. And people don't like change. As you would have experienced, you don't like change. So what has to happen is, People are going to kick back. You might even kick back. And so when we look at the mental negative thoughts, like, am I capable of this? Do I deserve this? What if I can't do it? I can't be successful. All those things, you go, okay, cool. Let's write them down. What are all the mental, mental sorry, negative thoughts that I'm experiencing while I'm trying to change something? And guys, you might have the same ones popping up time and time again, which is what I had. Okay, and when you become aware of them, right, awareness is that first step to change because as soon as you're aware, you can acknowledge and you can change. So whatever it is, just start taking notes, right? I've got a pen in my hand, but if you've got one near you, just start going, okay, what are all the negative thoughts that I have about myself right now? Write them down and maybe write them down over the next seven days and see what the list is, see how many continue to pop up. But you're also going to have some limiting beliefs as I just sort of shared a bit of both limiting beliefs and also negative emotions. But I had things like I'm not worthy of success. I've tried this before and I failed. What if I fail again? I can't deal with that. You know, I don't have access to this. I didn't have this leg up. And I just kept continuing to give myself excuses to validate why I couldn't take the risk, why I couldn't take action. And as I just mentioned, if we're not taking action, nothing's going to change. We're going to continue to live the same quality of life. But you know, it's probably going to get worse for you because you're going to be sitting there going, what if, what if, what if, right? And something that I'm thinking about at the moment is when we went away to this Bucks party, uh, a few of the lads I never played footy with, but I played footy against. And we were like, we should all just get together and, and play footy one last time. And, you know, I'm 30 at the moment, so I technically could still probably play for another five years. I'm fitter now than I ever was. And so now I'm starting to think, you know, it wouldn't be too bad. Should I? Should I do it? Would it be worth it? And maybe it will be, maybe it won't be, but we'll find out when I make that decision later on. But, you know, obviously once you're navigating through those negative thoughts, negative emotions and the limiting beliefs, write them down because once you're aware of them, we can start to change them. Right? A lot of us, we talk about this in uh, the Strong Men of Value program, but you know, obviously ultimately then changing your environment because it's very easy once again to listen to a podcast, to go to a, a seminar or a workshop or have a personal development day at your work and you walk away feeling motivated, you walk away feeling inspired, right? And you might take action. That action may last for one day, may last for one week, one month and generally we don't see people, you know, take, creating change after that. We you know, life gets back in the way and we fall back into the same conditioned habits that we were in prior to that event, seminar, podcast, whatever it is that sparked the motivation. And what one of the most important things that I found from my experience was changing my environment, changing my own environment to one that supported me to believe I was deserving of success. Wow. I was around people who were continually learning, continually I'm asking how I was going continually uh, available when I had questions to ask, continually picking me up when I was feeling down. And that was one of the most crucial components to the level of success and the change that I've had in my life to this day. And I want you to think about this right now. Is the environment that you have, and once again, I want to, I want to phrase this. I'm not saying you have to completely change your environment. That's probably something that I did that I, if I had my time again, maybe I wouldn't do because I love my mates. I love the people that were in my life and they were um, huge in, in creating me into the man that I was. There were things that I did, actions that I had that I wanted to change. Okay. So I could still keep them, I believe. And um, so looking at that, 
that environment go, okay, is the environment that I have, is it empowering me consistently? Is it challenging me to be better? Is it supporting me uh, to facilitate the change and the growth that I want? If it's not, where can I find that? And I know that a lot of you guys listening are thinking about joining the Strongman of Value program because it doesn't matter where in the world you are. You all have access to the online community, which is epic, right? And within that community, you get a, an environment of like-minded men who are pursuing better, right? Pursuing creating momentum in their life and being the best version of themselves. And what I found, and I still find to this day, is when I'm hanging around people like that, people with like-minded goals, like-minded visions, it helps me thrive. It helps me move faster, create change faster than if I'm walking alone because life gets in the way, distractions happen, people bring you down. And while you're putting out all of those fires left, right, and center, your vision and the quality of life that you're wanting to create, the man that you want to become is being put second, right? You're putting yourself second because you don't have the people there to go, Hey, Lockie, whatever, you know, what they said doesn't matter. Yes. It doesn't take away the hurt or the pain that it may have caused, but let's get you to where you want to get to, mate. You're still fucking on track to create an incredible life. You're still on track to be a great man, have a great relationship, all these things. Let's focus on what's important. Because while it is important to take, uh, to be aware of criticism, to be open to feedback because it helps shape or redirect you, a lot of the time they're just more distractions. And what happens when we get distracted, we lose focus on what's important. And I know for you guys, what's important is creating a better quality of life. That's why you listen to this podcast. That's why you're members of our free Facebook group. That's why some of you guys are members of the Strong Men of Value program because you want more. So for those of you who are listening and you haven't got in the Strong Man of Value program, the reason why it's there is for that, to give you the environment to support and empower you to be that best version of yourself where a lot of you don't have that currently in your life. So you go to immersive experiences, you go to events, you continue to learn and grow, but you really need that environment and we're here for you. So um, that's one of the, the biggest pillars within um, muscle momentum, meaning and mateship, right? I want to give that to you guys and I want it for myself, right? So that's why we're very selective on who comes in as well because I want to have mates that I enjoy hanging out with and chatting with weekly. So look, now we've identified the limiting beliefs or you should have taken notes and if you haven't listened to this podcast again tonight and get your pen and paper out and go, okay, well, what are some negative thoughts? What are some limiting beliefs that I have? And if you don't quite understand what they are, you know, Google, what are some negative thoughts? Some negative thoughts are just things that aren't empowering to you, right? Some limiting beliefs are beliefs that hold you back. I can't earn this much. I will never be able to get that job. I wouldn't be able to work for myself. I wouldn't be able to start a podcast. Things like that, write them down, become aware, acknowledge, go, okay, that's there and I'm, I'm being honest with myself. Now, what do I do, need to do to change that? And that's where we are now. What do you need to do to become deserving of success? Well, first and foremost is, any of those negative thoughts and limiting beliefs. I'm not saying you were going to rid yourself of them for the rest of your life just by doing it. Like I still have negative thoughts this, to this day. So that's what I was saying, um, sort of why this, this was happening because I'm still feeling a little bit dusty from the weekend. My thoughts are clouded and I just don't feel the best. So therefore, I go back to what's always been default for me, which is negative thinking, right? So it is intentional thinking for me to think positively to think in an empowered way to remind myself of the empowering beliefs that I have about myself. Right? And this is why much like fitness, much like breathing, much like eating, much like love, we need to focus on it daily and we need to focus on it regularly. Okay, so in order for you to be deserving of success, how would you need to think about yourself? So write this question down. In order to be deserving of success, how would you need to think about yourself? Right? For me, I would need to be confident in order, I would need to feel worthy. I would need to feel loved. I would need to feel significant, recognized. And once again, without going into too much detail, because this could be a completely different podcast, you can look at this externally. So how am I going to get that from outside of me, validation from other people, et cetera, but internally, 
How would I need to think about myself? What beliefs would I need to have about myself? Even now, as I'm going through a new level of growth, right? As I'm um, focusing a lot more on the online stuff and the podcast, it's scary because I have stopped saying yes to things that gave me great revenue to now go, right, I'm going all in on the podcast. I'm going all in on the Strong Man of Value program, which is freaky because it's out of my comfort zone. I'm learning so much along the way. I'm learning about podcasting. I'm learning about growing and building in a community, all things that are foreign to me. So it's scary as hell. I have negative thoughts. I have limiting beliefs about it. But every day, the work for me is going, okay, this is what I need to believe about myself. And I'm going to continue to tell myself and prove myself fucking right. Has to happen. And once I get those things, and this is, you know, those things fall into my morning routine, but I then have the plan to get after it, right? And I use a 12-week game plan. I've got that here as well because it's always with me. Um, the 12-week game planner where I fill that out daily and I just get to work. What has to happen? What are my daily thoughts? What are my intentions? What are my action steps? Reviewing who I am, what went well, what didn't go well, because that's what helps us grow. But think about that bloke. Blokes, think about that bloke. That's not even proper English. But think about that, guys. You are worthy of success. You are deserving of success. I know that. And whether you're in the Strong Man of Value program or not, you're just listening. I appreciate that. But the fact that you're here, let me tell you this. You are deserving of success. It may not feel like it right now. And I have been in a position where I never felt like it, even though I had people telling me continuously. But if you can surround yourself with people who can share their experiences, their setbacks, their failures, what works well for them. But you can also pick up on how they think, how they communicate. Slowly, you start to absorb the energy, right? And when your energy is high and you're feeling empowered, it's easy to think that way. It's easier to take action. I'm not going to say you're never going to feel the flip side of that. You will because I still do. And if I do, surely you guys have to. No, I'm kidding. But we will. So start thinking about that, guys. But you guys are deserving of success. And if you take those steps, I understand that there will be uh, doubters. There will be people who criticize you, ridicule you, want to see you fail. That's tick. If that happens, awesome. You're on track. You are going to experience negative thoughts about yourself. You're going to experience limiting beliefs. You're going to experience failure and setbacks. You will need to look at getting that environment right for you. And as I mentioned, our environment's awesome for those who feel you get value from it. You will need to work on changing your thoughts. You will need to work on changing your beliefs and habits are really good for that. Routines are really good for that. And you will need to have a plan to create whatever success looks like for you. Now, gents, thank you so much for tuning in. If you got value from this episode, I would just love and appreciate if you could share this episode with someone that you know will get value from it or just share it on your social media and tag me because without you guys, we don't grow. Word of mouth is the greatest way to get podcasts going and I truly appreciate everyone of you who has taken the time to listen to this episode. Thank you so much for listening.